You are listening to Breakfast with Arthur C. Evans, the only ace in the pack on the best radio station in the w- 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 world, Sky's Metro FM, Beyond the Sky. Well, it's a very good morning to you. If you've just woken up, you're locked into Sky's Metro FM, where we take you beyond the sky, and you're listening to the best breakfast show in the land. In fact, probably in the world. Breakfast with Arthur C. Evans. i got a very special guest in the studio today, because... It's special because we're talking about money, 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 money. I'm talking to the founder and chief trading officer of a new movement that is taking place. It's called the Forex Trading School and it's being set up right here in Bulawayo, Mr. Kuda Manzanga. Yeah, yeah. Welcome and good morning to Breakfast with Arthur C. Evans. Morning, morning, man. How are you this morning? I'm great, man. Thank you, thank you to have, for having me on your show. No, definitely, yeah. definitely. You know, I, I like money. I like money. You know, <laughs> we here to talk about money, man. <laughs> okay, you know, something unique uh, is happening in the form of your 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 trading school, and and that's because you want to empower people, yeah. especially the youth, to learn how to trade forex and empower themselves, and and it's possibly a solution to the unemployment that we have in the country but the question is what is forex trading my man all right all right all right all right so forex trading is the buying and selling of currencies online uh, to make a profit right um so typically like what happened yesterday i made some money off the south african situation 585 dollars uh trading the firing of the finance minister so so where did you go did you go to your office or were you trading from home do you have to go to from a special phone, place actually I, you were I trading this, from your phone I did this from my phone yeah 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 so you literally could be anywhere anywhere as long as there's an internet connection you're good to go and you made run this by me you made how much money 585 dollars in a day in a day on your phone on my phone doing nothing Doing nothing. <laughs> well, okay. I, I suppose you, you did that. Oh, okay, so so you trade Forex. Yes. Do you have to have the Forex in your account or like wh- so how, do, t- how does it work? Yeah, so typically you'd fund your trading account, right? So it's like a bank account, but it's a trading account. So if you put $20 in there and um, you think the dollar is going to strengthen against the rand, you press buy, you know. Okay. And if it goes your way, there's a profit. When the exchange rate moves... In your favor. So what about if the, like the exchange rate drops? Could you also make losses? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can make losses, but what we teach you at the school is how to manage your risk, basically, because uh, that's what it really is about. It's money. Ma- it's it's about money management. So you've got to manage your risk. Okay. So in 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 terms of this as as possibly an, an industry, this as uh, as as a practice. Mm. Who, who does forex trading in the world? Do, is it a select group of people? Because, you know, when we talk about trading, everyone thinks of a stockbroker. And, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you've got to go to university, do your four, five, six years to become a stockbroker. Then you've got to work your way from the bottom all the way to the top. Yeah, that's, that's the misconception, right? Okay. Well, interestingly enough, in the UK alone, there are over 200,000 traders. which They're called retail traders. So retail traders are people like you and me trading from their phones or trading from home. So that's how people supplement the income in, Western, in the Western world. So 200,000 traders in the UK. That's about 800,000 people supported by wow. trading. Yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> impressive. Yeah. And, and, and globally, is this something that is done? I mean, like, how much money is traded, like, in, in a day, perhaps? Or, like, is it like a, like a couple of million? A, you yeah. Know? So the Forex market is the largest financial market in the world. It trades 5.3 trillion. Cho 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 cho. Now work with me. I'm none of the business. I wanna make it to the What? 5.3 trillion boss. Trillion. Do you, do you I know what a trillion is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what a trillion is. I lived through hyperinflation. <laughs> US dollars. <laughs> what? Crazy, right? Crazy. That is crazy. Crazy. People are trading 5.3 trillion dollars a day. In the financial market, this compared to like New York Stock Exchange, which trades about twenty-two billion a day. So, I mean, the forex market totally dwarfs that market. Okay, so let, let's let's talk about the the qualifications needed to become yeah. a, a forex trader. Right. Uh, who who can be a forex trader? All right, anyone, anyone. You don't need whoa, whoa. any. Rewind. You yeah, mean anyone? Yeah. Anyone, anyone. So we just basically our motto at the school is anyone can trade forex. Um, you don't need any prerequisite as long as you can speak and write English. So if you don't know how to use a computer, we've got a free uh, springboard class where basically we'll just teach you a few fundamentals. But anyone can trade. Yeah, anyone can trade. I think anyone could have figured out that the firing of a minister 
would have affected the rand. You know what I mean? And especially Zimbabweans, because we really understand foreign currencies. We understand exchange rates. Yeah, no, we know how yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah, we know. Yeah. We know how to work that. <laughs> we know how to work that system. <laughs> oh, okay. So you say you say anyone. Yeah. Um, and and anyone that can read and write English. Yes. Have, has anybody passed through the through your hands? Definitely. Have you mentored anyone? Yeah, 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 yeah. So because bef- is this a tried and tested thing, or are you just like trying something new? Jabba jabba. No, yeah. no. no, it's tried and tested. So what I did before setting up the school, because we put in quite a lot of money into the school, so I didn't want to just put in money if I couldn't teach, you know. So got some couple of university students from NAST um, and trained them. And four months in, they're trading, you know, making money. Our aim is to get these guys to be able to pay for their fees. So if you're a student listening right now, this is for you. You know, we, we, we want you to get to teach you how to make some money. Uh, or $50, you can probably make a hundred, you know what I mean, um, as you get better with trading. And guess what? You can pay your fees. So this is this is a uniquely Zimbabwean solution. That, that makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. You know, if I'm a student and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, okay, you know what? I'm struggling to pay for rent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I could take a gamble and say, okay, look, speak to my landlord and say, listen, I'm not paying rent this month, but next month I'm paying two months in advance. Yeah. <laughs>